In this video, you'll be walking through the steps to remove and inspect the clutch and a belt on a 550cc engine. You'll need to remove the air intake pipe from the clutch area. You'll need a flathead screwdriver to remove the band clamps and an 8mm socket to remove the bolts. There are a total of two band clamps and three bolts. Make sure to double check all the bolts and screws are removed before removing the pipe from the unit. This will be a good time to inspect the pipe for any damages. Now that the clutch cover is exposed, you'll need to remove 14 10 mm bolts. There will be two bolts located in the center of the cover and 12 bolts located around the outside of the cover. Once all bolts are removed, carefully remove the cover. You'll also need to remove the gasket. Inspect both these items for any damages before moving on. Next, you will need to remove the clutch cage. The cage is secured by four 10 millimeter bolts. The clutch cage will be held on securely and may require a little pressure to be removed. Make sure not to loose the two dowel pins and ensure the clutch shield bracket bearing is operating correctly and the seal is in good shape. You now have access to the clutch sets. The main clutch set is secured by a 24 millimeter nut. You will remove the nut and the washer from the main clutch. The secondary clutch is secured by a 24 millimeter nut, but with no washer. Proceed to remove. You can now remove the primary clutch. This will be the front half of the clutch only. Make sure not to damage the surface of this if being reused. Inspect for any damages at this time. The secondary clutch will now be removed. The clutch will completely remove in one piece along with the belt. Be aware of the exposed shaft where the primary clutch is held and avoid any damages to this area. Once removed from the unit, inspect for any damages. You'll now remove the back sheave half of the primary clutch and inspect the surface for any damages. You will notice a secondary set of splines on the back sheave primary clutch. Inspect this for any damages. The primary clutch is a three-piece clutch. You will need to make sure the insert roller on the primary clutch is moving freely. It is very important to make sure the splines on the front of the clutch are in good shape. When installing, be careful not to force into place. Make sure both sets of splines on the front and back of the primary clutch are aligned correctly. Make sure to inspect the belt thoroughly. Be sure to look for cracks, burn marks, clip marks, weathering, or any visual imperfections. If any are found, please replace your belt. On the inspection of the secondary clutch, make sure that there is no burn marks on the inside of the sheaves. Inspect for any pits, chips, or grooves that would cause any issues with the belt. When reinstalling the secondary clutch, you will notice there is two 8mm bolt holes on the front of the clutch. Insert these two bolts to open the spring-loaded sheave. This will allow the belt to fall correctly into the valley and allow you to place the outer primary clutch splines back on the shaft correctly. Be sure to remove the bolts after installing the clutch system. Before installing the clutch cover, make sure the gasket is installed properly 
and the gasket will align correctly with all the bolt holes.